What's going on guys, me David here back for another shave. And if you guys have been paying attention to me at all during this year of 2020, you've been hearing me rave about Moon Soaps. Absolutely just fell in love with the company. Uh, scrolling through Instagram one day, <laughs> saw this soap label and I was just like, damn, what is that? Looked it up, Moon Soaps 831, I, I believe it is. Scroll through their pictures and they just got amazing soap. Like, see, look, here's one right here. I used this on a live the other day on the Rich Man Group. That's old school. Just look at that label design. It's fantastic. Love it. They don't have a lot of soap options, but they are expanding. They are making more stuff. Every label they have is dope. If you guys have been paying attention to DK as well, DK recently used some of their stuff as well. And today, I got my hands on their newest release, which is due out July 1st. Uh, depending on when I release this video, it's either going to be the day before July 1st or on July 1st in the morning. Uh, one or the other. So I'm not sure what day you're watching this on, but here it is, man. Check this out. Bam. Once again, they just knocked it out of the park with a beautiful soap label. This is their Sorrento scent. And I think it's just in time for the summer. Now, I usually don't focus much on what season it is compared to what, what scent I'm using, um, but it doesn't mean I don't acknowledge that other people do. This one smells to me, and I will have the scent notes down at the bottom, uh, but I don't like to cloud my mind because things start getting jumbled by knowing that stuff ahead of time. But for me, this is a nice cologne style citrus and aquatic. Beautiful scent. I love it. I've, I've been a huge fan. I don't know. I, I don't know what it is. I have just been absolutely obsessed with the whole uh, Moon Soaps company. Looked on their website. They actually render their own tallow in-house, which is really cool. They're here from California. And if you look on the website, they got a picture of the family. And I kid you not, they look like the picture that comes with picture frames. It just looks like the perfect freaking family. It, it, it's just pretty remarkable. So I just absolutely fell in love with the company, man. So I own two of their soaps. This soap here was sent to me by West Coast Shaving. Both West Coast Shaving and Moon Soaps will have this available for you July 1st. One little cool thing about West Coast Shaving that I didn't know until I was uh, talking to my boy Abraham. All new releases. All new releases. No minimum amount to purchase. All new releases have free shipping. Doesn't get much better than that. So if you guys are interested in pick up Moon Soaps, and again, I have been going nuts for this. It, for me, the new artisan of the year in 2020, I've been going crazy about them. It's starting to spread a little bit. Some of my buddies have been telling me they're getting them. So I'm happy with that. DK was one of the first uh, YouTubers to kind of jump on board with me and kind of mention that he picked it up for me. I love their stuff. I just really, really do. So I'm going to get right into it. I've already ranted and raving for, what is it? Three minutes. So... I'm wasting a bunch of time. I gotta go a little matchy matchy, so I think that does, that's pretty good on it. Pretty good match. If the blue is a little bit darker, but damn it, it's close. Damn it, it is close. So I'm gonna go ahead and load this up. Now, if you guys seen the the thumbnail for this, you've seen that I had the carved razor. I was gonna use the carved razor today, but I forgot. Uh, I just, I've been doing a thing. I've been, I've been playing around a little bit. I did a thing. So I recently uh, traded, traded and sold some stuff off in order to be able to buy some honing stones. So I've been playing around with the stones and today I just, I want to use an edge that I did myself. Finally, um, I did a full Naniwa super stone uh, progression, uh, 1K, 5K, 8K and 12K. This is the second edge that, uh, the second complete edge that I did. The first one I did, I did a live um, with the old school soap on the Rich Man Group. And the razor was super sharp, but slightly harsh. Not, not slightly harsh, it was pretty harsh. It flew through the hair. None of the hair that I had on my face could even slow it down, but it felt like it was a rough edge. So, uh, I talked to Ryan... Mahone, I think his name is. I also talked to, of course, Anthony Esposito um, and Alejandro Marti. He picked up some pointers. Um, also, Ken Hammaker. 
And um, everybody was just kind of give me some little bit of advice, things that I should probably try, do, change, whatever. And I think uh, it helped out. I, I do believe it helped out quite a bit. Very, very nice. Okay, definitely have it too thick. Need to introduce some water into this. So, based on something that I was saying by by West Coast Shaving. This is the original formula. Moon, Moon Soaps apparently has four formulas. So I'm thinking possibly all the formulas that they have, each soap that they have to, up to this point, may be a different formula. I'm not sure. I'll definitely, I'm gonna message Zach and Melody after the fact. Um, because I got this soap and I'm just so damn excited to use it. So apparently this is their original tallow out of four formulas that they have. Again, yeah, allegedly, or that's what I'm told. This one has the highest amount of tallow out of all of them. I'm not a soap maker, I don't pretend to be, so I don't know how that pertain how that affects soaps in general, but this is their highest amount of tallow in out of all their recipes, which is cool. I do generally speaking prefer tallow soaps. With very few exceptions, I rave, you guys already know what I like. So, super, super excited. Got this nice and hydrated. Let's see how this new edge uh, works. I watched the Stallions videos in preparation for this shave. Um, well, in terms of honing, also I was looking at Dr. Matt and also Robert Ortiz. So, let's check it out. Ho, 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 yeah. That right there, that one stroke, all it took for me to know that this is significantly smoother than the last edge I did. No, but again, we still gotta just test out the sharpness. Cause the other one, I'll tell you, the other razor was super sharp. And I really wanted to do a smaller razor. So there's a couple ways that you guys can You can hide a bad edge on a razor. One, you do really, really fast strokes. If you're swinging real hard through the through the ball, you're gonna hit it hard even if it's a grounder. Well, same thing with hair. If you're if you're pushing your razor through hair quickly, even if the edge is pretty shitty, it's going to shave and it's gonna appear sharp. And secondly, you use a heavy blade. So heavy blade and super fast strokes can help make a, a shitty edge appear good when somebody's shaving. I wanted to do one of these small razors, 5 eighths, full hollow, so that there was no hiding it. So if there was a spot on this razor that wasn't sharp, it hit some of this denser hair because this is already about maybe five days of growth. Don't quote me on that, because but it's more than usual. So if any part of this blade is not sharp, it will snag, it will drag, and you guys will notice it. So really, I was really, really uh, looking forward to seeing how it goes. Look at that. Again, smooth strokes, nice and calm, not rushing it. I'm not trying to give any appearance that it is better than what it is. This is a comfortable edge. If I can replicate this edge, Every single time, I will never have to send out my razors again to anybody else. This, how it feels so far, still gotta do the against the grain because that's probably the most important. But initial impressions, I could shave on this exact edge for the rest of my life, which is pretty exciting. But it's pretty exciting. I'm not gonna lie. Damn, these razors are so goddamn small. I'm not used to 5 8 anymore. I'm gonna clean up actually this line back here too. Clean up my edge with no, no cream. Smooth, went through it. That's exciting. And of course, again, I love this Moon Soaps. It is super slick. Yeah. 
This soap just does it for me, dude. It just really, really does. And it's hard for me to explain because you guys can see the lather. It's not the de densest lather. Out. It's damn slick. Look at that. Fuck yeah. Beautiful. Definitely dense enough. I don't know. I just... I don't know if it's the best at any any particular thing, but it's damn good to damn great at everything. So that, that's kind of where I'm at with this soap. Probably not the best in any one, one particular of the categories, but it's really good to great in everything you could ask for. Ease of lather, post shape, slickness, density. It's good. Look at that. Look at that. And I don't do those big peaks that, 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 you, that you be seeing. This is not the chief. It's not a, It's not a, the Duda shaving. I just do nice, dense, clean lathers. And that right there, money. Money, 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 money. I'm in a good mood. I'm pumped. Look at again. Got my own edge. I'm using one of my favorite artisan soaps. And again, the, this artisan company is still new to me, man. So it's just still exciting. There's not a lot of stuff that gets me super excited anymore. Um... They do. It just is what it is, man. Get the money pass. The true test. This is the true test right here. Pretty good. That's pretty good. With these smaller blades, I do those smaller choppy strokes. So it's nothing to do with the uh, with the quality of the razor. It, it's just something that I do. Man, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. This is not a stallion edge. It's not on his level. If you're somebody that likes a stallion edge, it doesn't compete with that yet. Hold on, I'm going to get there. Oh, I'm going to get there, baby. Anthony, if you're watching, I love you, dog. I, Anthony Esposito, he's one of the dopest motherfuckers in, in the world, dude. He's always just been so giving of his time to me. Um, he's always been a resource in this uh, in this hobby for me, and I can't. I will never be able to repay him, um, the repay the value he's brought to my life. And that's not a monetary thing. The value that he's brought into my life is priceless. I'm a little bummed out that he's uh, he's uh, not cursing in his videos anymore. So that's kind of sad. Uh, those always have a tendency to brighten my day. But it is what it is. I understand... Uh, why he's going towards that direction. Guys, I'm super excited about this. This is cool. This is cool. It's still, I don't have the smoothness to a perfect level yet. But it's good. This is, this is a very, very This is a very shavable edge. I'm trying not to give myself too much credit, but I'm excited. This is good. Again, now I'm pretty much almost done with my my against the grain pass. I do want to improve in the smoothness, but again, if I could replicate this exact edge, I could shave with this probably the rest of my days. Oh, fuck. I had a pimple that it really hurts right here, and I just kind of went over it. Fuck. Oh, that is not a cut. It's just, it's a pimple that hurts, dude. It almost felt like somebody punched me in the face. This, that, that shit legitimately hurts. It's weird. It's a very weird. I even got my hands a little shaky. Shit. Yeah, I got myself. Oh, it's not bleeding though. I just bumped into it. it. Fucking hurts. I squeezed the shit out of it before the video. Welcome, you new subscribers from Chris Bailey's uh, channel. Um, Chris is doing a giveaway that's based on my, my Broman uh, video. If you haven't checked that one out, he is sending 
all of the people that uh that worship over at the church of of bailey he's sending them over to that video to post the hashtag belief is not a cart it's something that i've been saying on some of those posts the leaf razor it's the spinner wheels of uh of cartridge razors does the same shit the exact same way it does just with a little bit of flair that's all it is that's all it is it's a cart razor with more work to do you gotta snap your own blades in half you gotta install them it's big and hideous look third pass third pass and look at the leather quality sass Really excited, really, really excited. Third and final pass. Avoid that damn pimple because it hurts. Now, but for those of you guys that did come from Chris Bailey's channel and did decide to um, subscribe, I really do appreciate you. Welcome. I really do hope that my content um, entertains you, man. No bumper deck of fill going over. Very nice. Very, very nice. On this side of my face, my hair grows kind of high. So I, gotta, I always got to remind myself to kind of slide that, that edge slightly above the rim of my glasses. Ugh. To get that hair. Because otherwise, I don't know. There's like three hairs right here up in this area. They get really, really long, and they really bother Rocio. Hey, just a little update, again, personal life-wise. We have been given the green light to start conditioning with our high school football team, so that's really exciting. Uh, this upcoming Monday... We'll be back up there with the high school kids. In hopes that we have a season, man. With the course, with this, uh, I don't know if people are considering this a second wave or still the first wave of coronavirus. Uh, who knows if they won't cancel the season. It's still probably a possibility, but I'm at least happy to be able to be out there doing something. All right, so that's the end of that. Oh, actually, first. Look at that. No shave cream and knocked on them little that little soul patch area pretty good. So alright guys, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse off. I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and I'll catch you once this is all all the money maker is clean. Alright guys, and we're back. And before we get into the damn nitty-gritty of how I went liked Sorrento from Moon Soaps, these tag videos. These tag videos have to stop. Stop doing so many goddamn tag videos. You guys know what I'm talking about. There shouldn't be three, four, five tag videos rotating around all of us all at once. God damn it. Once a month. One a month. Two a month, maybe. That's it. We don't need 75 tag videos. Stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it. I do not want to have a shave where I'm standing on one foot, patting the top of my head with my off hand. No. We're not, don't do it. Stop fucking tagging me in videos. God damn it. I still might do the damn... Uh, Candlelight one just because I like uh, uh, Ken over at Shave 326 vibe. I like his whole vibe and then of course fucking Junior had attacked me right after that that dick uh, So I, I still might do it, but guys enough with the goddamn tag videos. Jesus. Okay, so Sorry about that. I had to have my little moment. Had to have my moment Musso's uh, Sorrento Citrus Aquatic again. That's what I pick up 
you can confirm it down at the bottom i will have the scent notes of this soap uh down at the bottom also i will have the link to the moon soaps website where you can pick up this offering as well as old school union havana and amaretto which i got to pick up amaretto it's a cream i hear it's really good i'm just not a big fan of creams generally speaking but i am going to try it especially it's that cherry almond scent <sighs> love that shit so i'm gonna definitely try it it just again it hits all the marks ease of lathering density slickness and the pose shape is nice it's, it. it's everything you could possibly want in a soap six ounces of soap for 20 bucks 18.99 i don't remember the exact price um again you don't get to beat that one thing i will comment on is can we get some splashes please west coast shaving clearly not everybody over at west coast shaving watches my videos because i do not like bombs but since they sent it and one thing i will tell you this bomb feels a little thin feels a little thin wise which i don't know if i like that but if i prefer that or not because again i'm not a bomb user but for the inspectors after shave hour i'm gonna go ahead and use some of this bomb let's let's check it out let's see oh 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 so there's three I need a little bit more. I need a little bit more. Okay, that might now push me over the edge a little bit. But. There it is. Boom. I do miss uh, the. I do miss the burn of aftershave. Uh, that is slightly sad, and, uh, sad for me. But. You know, I guess not every company can be perfect. <laughs> Love the soap, the balm. Again, luckily, the wife loves balms. She will use this regularly for a, uh, for either a hand moisturizer or a face moisturizer in the morning. I know she'll like the scent. She wasn't here when it got here, so I can't promise you that, but I'm pretty confident she will like the scent. So at least the balm won't go to waste. Moon Soaps, West Coast Shaving. Check it out. July 1st. If this is July 1st, get on that website and go get it because... Moon Soaps is one of my favorite arsons now, man. It's, it's been like that this year. And this is the first free item. Again, I did get this for free. It was sent to me by West Coast Shaving. It was not sent to me by Moon Soaps. Um, love the product. Love them. I, again, they offer, what, five soaps? I've bought two of them on my own. This is my third one, and I will buy the other two. So, no, actually, not going to buy Havana. I'm not too much in the mood for another tobacco scented soap. But Amaretto, it's coming home to daddy, baby. So, hey, guys, if you guys have made it this far into the video... Um, you know, I appreciate you. The world is a crazy place. Love one another. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll catch you on the next shave.